Tonya, I've been going over the clinic's books. We can't afford to pay our bills this month. Mm, no problem. I'll handle them just the way I handle my bills at home. Bills, bills, go away, because Tonya ain't going to pay you today. <laughs> and this method works for you. As long as you don't mind changing your name every couple of months. I don't get it. The clinic's profits are way down this month. It's like some giant leech is sucking all the money out of this place. Hey, look at the new painting I bought for the clinic. <laughs> we can't waste the clinic's money on that. Oh, I admit, it's not as classy as your painting of Buddha kicking a field goal. <laughs> Max, we're losing money. I'll make it simple for you. Either the painting goes or you go. Ooh, that's a mighty fine painting, Max. <laughs> hey, I'm not the only one wasting money around here. Who bought bath toys for the Whirlpool? Mr. Johnson had a wrist injury. I think it helped to play with Mr. Squeezy. <laughs> Please tell me we're talking about a rubber duck. <laughs> Look, the point is the clinic's profits are way down and for some reason we're losing business. Could be our price is too high. Could be we need to advertise. Could be a new sports rehab clinic in the area. Why do you say that? This fly that says there's a new sports rehab clinic in the area. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to you? Nothing. It's a fake. I've been doing some undercover work at that clinic across the street. Oh, that's good thinking. What'd you get? I got a sports bottle mm -hmm. and some chitlin jerky. <laughs> Tonya, did you find out anything about their operation? Damn, I knew I forgot something. I don't know. <laughs> no, I know. I can't afford this. this well, I want to tell you. No, I know. Max, 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 Max. What's all this? Together? All the tenants got a memo. <laughs> the new building management is increasing everyone's rent 20%. What? We can't afford that. We'll lose our businesses. I know. This is ridiculous. <laughs> look, uh, look, we're not going to stand for this. No, 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 Down with no. the rent increase. Yeah. 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 And the testing of cosmetics on bunnies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're all together. I thought we might as well kill two birds. <laughs> According to the chiropractor, figures you'd be late. Oh, sorry, Stan. You know how it is when you have a lot of patients. Oops, I forgot. You don't. <laughs> Max, are you going to lead this meeting or not? Yeah, Stand back up? and watch the born leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, please. Can we come to order? Oh, it's no use. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Clarence, as an attorney, if they raise our rents, what can we do? Pay them? <laughs> Can't we fight them? Yeah, but that seems so mean. <laughs> Where did you get your law degree? The University of Wisconsin? <laughs> we have a lease. How can they do this? They're taking advantage of a loophole. Some hotshot lady exec is flying in from San Francisco to haunt you the deal. Her nickname's the Stiletto. <laughs> What happened to the old building manager? He never would have raised the rent. Fired. Too many complaints from the tenants. This building's great. I mean, what kind of a butthead would complain? <laughs> my parking spot was never swept, and my name was misspelled in the lobby directory for two days. <laughs> oh, I should have guessed it was you. Hey, can we get back to discussing how we're going to fight this thing? Yeah! yeah. Right what, what we need is a dynamic leader. Yeah! Decisive with impressive credentials who won't back down. Yeah. Who is that man? Marion! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're here for our meeting with Miss Hotshot Executive. Now, what's the scoop, Donna? Is she as tough as everyone says? Oh, she was great for the first ten seconds. Then she fired me. <laughs> what? She doesn't like the name Donna. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we've learned something useful about our enemy. Don't call me Donna. <laughs> now here's the strategy. Establish rapport, gain trust, then we rip the heart out. So just like you handle surgery. <laughs> Send in the tenant representatives. Okay, but they look tough. Just give them...
them what they want. <laughs> Let's go, Donna. <laughs> Good afternoon, miss. You. You. You <laughs> want for establishing rapport. Well, Amber, I'm glad to see you got over me. Why, you arrogant. Uh, let her hit you. It'll help our bargaining position. Wait. <laughs> this isn't me anymore. Nice to see you again, Marion. I bet it is. But how do you know the stiletto? The stiletto? Uh, Bernie the chiropractor made it up. I'd support forcing him out of the building. Suite 213. <laughs> so you're the tenant representative? Yeah, I got a sports rehab clinic on the third floor. Hmm, I would have thought your post-football career would have involved some kind of broom. <laughs> so what do you do? You wrap ankles? No, I own the clinic. I mean, it's not as glamorous as collecting rents, but I like it. It's difficult to gain trust after you rip the heart out, Marion. I do a little more than collect rents. I'm vice president. I have offices in Tokyo, Hong Kong, and San Francisco. Oh, so you're an international rent collector. <laughs> Why don't you just poke with a sharp stick? <laughs> Max, leave us alone. Obviously, Amber here has something she wants to say to me. It's brief and profane. Just like your romantic style. So I guess those were mice in the room yelling, Oh, Marion! Oh, Marion! Oh, man! I tell you what. I'll come back later as the good cop. So I see the ego hasn't diminished over time. Still the same passionate woman I left in Montego Bay. You are just a faded memory. Admit it. I still get to you. You are nothing but a big ego in a hat. Still gets to you. <laughs> Donna, the phone. It was your boss. He said, lower the rent for his old pals, Marion and Max. <laughs> you heard the lady, Donna, you're fired. <laughs> Well, uh, I better be going before I have to peel you off of me. <laughs> oh, please. If you were staring at me any harder, my clothes would burst into flames. Yeah, well, I tell you this much, you're not raising the rent. The day you get the better of me, they'll give California back to Mexico. Oh, well, then you better brush up on your Spanish, senorita. <laughs> I'm telling you, that new clinic is the bosom. <laughs> this is killing me. What do they have that we don't have? All our customers. A cappuccino cart and all our customers. <laughs> did you get anything useful? As a matter of fact, I did. They have a doctor over there just like you. Except he's personable, handsome, and has women within five feet of him. <laughs> I don't care about that. And he's from Yale. Leave out one detail and I'll toss you out that window. <laughs> Look, I'm going to go plot some strategy. Tanya, someone left these at the doorstep for you. Oh, they must be from Henry. Nope. How do you know? Oh, uh, the card had fell out somehow. <laughs> After it chewed its way out of the envelope? Come on, girl, I was just curious. Come on, look what it says. To Tonya, I got my Ionia, a secret admirer. Oh. Isn't that cute? I don't know who it is, but he's got a lot of class, honey, because there ain't that many carnations in this bunch. I believe that woman. Oh, now she's trying to suck up with flowers? No way. Oh! <laughs> Actually, those were for Tony. Sorry. <laughs> okay, mister, so what's the deal with the stiletto? Nothing. Nothing? Mm -mm. You. You. Vase upside the head. Oh, I want you. Oh, I want you. If Max's mouth was any bigger, his head would flip back like a Pez dispenser. <laughs> Name's Amber. A couple of years ago, we had a hot three-day affair. It ended badly. Obviously, she hasn't gotten over me. She hasn't gotten over you. I was there. It was like mating season in a shark tank. <laughs> Get real. Only thing I feel when I'm with Amber is the occasional urge to duck. <laughs> well, be that as it may, it's clear that you shouldn't be the one to handle this negotiation. You're right. Yeah, well, I'll have this taken care of in five minutes. Now, Max, she's no ordinary woman. She's smart, she's cunning, she'll do anything to win. Look, 
I know how to handle myself. I mean it. She'll try to charm you. She'll try to manipulate you. You'll find yourself up at 2 o'clock in the morning just thinking about her. <laughs> but I'm over her. to see you, Dr. Stanton. Well, I'm unarmed, so if there's going to be vase throwing, I'll have to go get a few. <laughs> Forgive me. I showed poor judgment by throwing something at Mary. I should have pumped fake to freeze him. <laughs> I was secretly rooting for you to hit him. <laughs> but I'm here now, and when it comes to negotiating, it's strictly business. Oh, well, thanks for warning me. I do have a weakness for good-looking, well-spoken Ivy League types. Please, strictly business. Although, you're not so bad looking yourself. <laughs> but even a woman of your charms is not going to dissuade me from my position. Now, Look, I will... Max, we're both professionals. Now, I don't care about the rent, but I do have a vision for this building. May I share it? Well, it's not going to do much good, but be my guest. I don't just see a building. I see an architectural statement. I see valet parking and state-of-the-art security and earthquake retrofitting. Uh, valet parking? Interesting. <laughs> but I still don't think it warrants a 20% increase. Oh, come on. Oh, you're an important man. Let the little people park your car. Maybe even detail it. <laughs> you know, I've been saying that memo for months. <laughs> I read them. You are a visionary. You know... I really feel like we're making some progress here. You are so worldly compared to Marion. <laughs> well, his idea of worldly is French fries and Belgian waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see? Valet parking. We're getting off cheap. And Amber's going to let me design the uniform for the doorman. <laughs> Max, you're unbelievable. You sold out faster than a Donna Summer CD at a gay pride rally. <laughs> Does this woman really have that kind of power over men? Hey, as soon as I bought a house in L.A., she talked Al Davis into moving the Raiders back to Oakland. <laughs> so what are we going to do about it? Am I going to have to hurt her? <laughs> this is my fight. I'll fight fire with fire. Right? Well, good. So what you going to do? Well, take her to the finest restaurant in town, charm her into submission with the most expensive dinner I can afford. Hey, I'll chip in. You can get her a large fries. <laughs> You're looking fine tonight. You know, if I didn't know better, I would think you were trying to charm me. Well, you're looking kind of fine tonight, too, sweetheart. Maybe you're trying to charm me. <laughs> Why do things always start to go bad between us? I think we had our best when there's nothing between us. <laughs> you know, for a man who's not trying to charm me, you're doing pretty well. Look, I know we've had bad history. But there's nothing I'd love more than to make it up to you. Bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir, mademoiselle. Excuse me. I asked you to come after the meal. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'm here at the young lady's request. She telephoned ahead. You didn't know we were coming. <laughs> Unless you talked to somebody who did. <laughs> you know, I really don't think we need that music after all. <laughs> you talked to Max. You got the whole story. You're trying to work me. Oh, and you weren't trying to do the same thing to me, inviting me to a fancy dinner and slobbering all over my hand? Oh, admit it. You were going for it big time. You want me. You're the one that wants me. I'd rather have a root canal. I'd rather choose still walk. I'd rather have Caesar's tickets to the Clippers. <laughs> you son of a... Okay. All cards on the table, Marion. What do you really want? Well, I'd ask you the same thing, but I already know, and it ain't on the menu. He's slipping. He used the same line on me in Jamaica. <laughs> hey, you knew what we were getting into. No ties, remember? And no goodbyes, apparently. Can you believe it? Three hot days of romance and this jerk walks out on me. Yeah, but tell her why. She threw a lobster at me. If you like that crab, nail it down. Oh, that's it. That's it. I am through talking with you. I'm through arguing with you. I'm through throwing things at you. Yeah, except for yourself. Oh. 